Love, love, love. This is 2023. Why are you making trousers without pockets? <laughs> a lot of money on the sale and so this is a try on haul i will not be keeping all the items the point of this is just to show you what the items look like on i didn't have a chance to try them on so this is going to be a fun experience for both of us i am typically a size medium or a size 12 12 because i've got relatively broad shoulders and big arms just for context i am five seven and a half and i'm in my early 30s so do with this information what you will. Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. If you would do that for me, please and thank you. If you like the video, share it with your friends as well. Comment down below what pieces you like, what pieces you're interested in buying, or what pieces you already have. And without further ado, let's get started. This is the first set on. It is a halter neck waistcoat. It's a lovely kind of, not linen, it's cotton. The cotton I think is really nice. I like the way it fits around the back and it has a little um, gathered bit here. So actually, if I was bigger, this is a size 12, but if I was bigger, I think it would still be just fine. I am tempted to get a size 10, just for a bit more oomph. The trousers are too big. The trousers, my dear, are way too big. The waist is humongous. But in any case, I love this set. The length is great. The fit, it feels really nice. It feels like, you know, you're going on a yacht day. You know, you just need to have your little orange sandals or slippers or whatever, going on a yacht day with a nice big hat. It's giving me yacht day vibes. But this waist is very large, very large. I would recommend that you size down because, uh, yeah, it's, it's large. Next is this, this bleh, I can't even get my words out. Next is this slip dress. It is a nant air. Let's try that again, shall we? Next is this slip dress. It is in a nice satiny silk. Do you know what, sadly, I don't know the difference between satin and silk. To me, they're the same. But let's just call it satin. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous print. I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it. It's such an easy wear. I like things that you can just throw on. And I don't know if it's because I'm now 30 plus, but I don't want to have restrictions. I don't want tight clothes. I don't want clothes with too many bells and whistles that I have to tie here, cut it here, contort my arm, bend my back. Nah, I just want a quick throw it on, zhuzh, get out the house kind of outfit. And this is it. The back is basically got normal, spaghetti straps and they are adjustable as you can see they've got the little thingy mobs there and there it's just nice easy breezy beautiful i have a baby shower coming up at the end of july and i think I, this might be one of my outfit choices i've got a few things when i was shopping that i thought oh i could wear this or i could wear that and so yeah this is a possible contender it has a slit on the left leg, just above my knee. It's nothing too high, but it's just a little bit of pizzazz. For me, this dress is slightly big in the armpit area. It's a bit loosey-goosey. It's not, I don't imagine it's supposed to be tight. And I did just finish saying that I like things that I can just throw on, but I also like things to fit me properly. This is a size 12. Um, as most things are, the only thing I will say is that it gives me nightgown vibes. I have dresses that I wear to sleep that are a similar fit, a similar feel, a similar cut. So it kind of gives me nightgown, like sexy nightgown. Mm. But what do you guys think? Keep or return? You have to respond quickly because by the time this goes out, actually, I think this will go out this weekend. Fingers crossed, i.e. the first weekend in July. Fingers crossed. If you're hearing this, that means that I edited this thing on time. 
mango, 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 mango. Mango, mango. What have you done? Mango, what have you done? Mango, a la Jennifer Lopez VMA Awards, whatever year it was. Mango. Listen, when I saw this dress, first of all, it was the green. And I don't know if it's because I'm in my plant era or I don't know, I've really been attracted to green lately. And I just saw this dress bungled up somewhere. And I was like, what is that? So I picked it up and, I, and it's such a weird dress to look at when it's not on. It's very contorted. As you can see, this one sleeve is twisty. The other one is spelenge. It's mesh. Just, and then it's got this random dangly bit. So I was like, what is going on? And then I just kind of was like, I don't know how this works, but I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna try it on when I get home because I have a feeling I am onto a winner. Can we take this dress in for a moment? Wait, let me get a stool because I don't want to be adjusting the camera. I'm going to stand on a stool one second so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I brought my little step that I used to get into high places because at this point, I, I don't want you to miss any part of this dress. Much is much is. Oh, it's still not even high enough. Can we first of all get into this leg action? This leg slit action over here. And then like on this side, it is just, it's so long. It goes down past my feet. The back, ladies and gentlemen, the back. Hey, God, I think. I was a little bit worried at first because this top part is not lined. It's not lined like the rest of it, but clearly you cannot see my nipples. You cannot see my areolas. I'm not wearing tip tape, but just imagine with a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a oomph. Nah, I need, and where is the red carpet? Because I'm gonna be there. I have nowhere to wear this to, no holidays on the horizon for now, but this dress is it. And I'm so gassed and I really hope that you see the vision. It just really, really reminds me of the JLo plunge dress. I think it's literally just because it's green. Because to be honest, it's a completely different cut. But I remember when I was maybe like 10 or 11 and JLo walked the red carpet with Diddy and she had that plunge green dress like down to her navel and the whole world went crazy i think it was a versace dress but that is just what the screams to me it's a completely different cut to what she wore but clearly the green has me in a choco a few moments later okay so i've had a quick moment to calm down <laughs> the sizing is slightly off slightly it is a bit big in the corners here and here yeah these two mm, it could be snatched it could be snatched, let me not lie. Let me calm down. It could be snatched a bit better. I don't know that it's supposed to be, do you know what I mean? Like, it's very, ooh. Work with me, right? So, I don't know. No, she's a keeper, forget it, forget it. Yes. Jeffrey, have you got to put these baskets on the boat? Okay. When do we set sail? Oh, amazing. Oh, fantastic. Oh yes, of course. Monaco, please, this time. Ha <laughs> ha, cheerio. Listen, I don't want to be shaking my ass on a yacht in Dubai. I want to be on a boat in the French Riviera, strutting along with my Prada sunglasses, designer handbags, and my Hermes Oran sandals. That is what I want to be doing in this jumpsuit. Let us get into it. First things first, mm, this is, let me take this off so you guys can take me seriously for once. This jumpsuit needs two people. This is a two man job, okay? I am home alone and I can only just about fit one button, one. There are three buttons that go around your neck, but either I've got a big fat neck or they have just designed, because the, the, the hook things are so tiny. I don't even know if you can see them. They're so tiny and my fingers couldn't go through them. It took me a while just to put one on. And at that point I was like, it will do, you guys will get the picture. So let us get into it. Lovely lapels over here. Again, no tip tape at the moment, but I think my boobs are still sitting pretty. The back, hello. The back fits absolutely fantastically. It's great, it doesn't feel too big. I don't feel like I'm spilling out. I know that once the other buttons are done, 
let's just imagine it being a bit more like this oh the length is great it does feel a little bit tight around my thighs but i am in the big quads gang so those of you who don't do lend day might not have this issue this is you know like gym girl problems so around eh, jesus i can't even lift yeah this is going to be an issue i cannot it is so tight in here very very tight i feel like i might rip it functionality it's not very functional the crotch is a bit lower down than i would have preferred it's like down here it's a little bit tight on my quads um booty is fabuloso <laughs> hip thrusts have been paying off okay all these anecdotes are because i'm a gym girly if you don't know get to know follow me on social media at jmotg you see me i post my workouts and my stories there's a slight disconnect between my YouTube channel and my Instagram because I do a lot of working out on my Instagram and I never post my workouts on YouTube. But just in case you're wondering why I'm making all these references to back day, legs, this, that, the other, you know, if you follow me worldwide, you will understand. As much as I love the way this looks, the functionality has got me a bit, like, honestly, the, the crotch is, is a little bit problematic. It's tight. It's actually very tight in these areas. And I don't know how I'm gonna navigate it. So the next few items I'm gonna be showing you guys are more workwear. Pre-pandemic, I used to love dressing up for work. It was like my favorite thing. I loved to walk in like I owned the place. I love any kind of workwear, structured dresses, um, asymmetric tops, pleated trousers. I had a whole collection of heels at work that I would leave at my desk. I love workplace fashion. Recently, I have gradually been buying a bit more formal attire. If you are like me and you kind of want to start easing yourself back into somewhat smart, casual, semi-formal for work, I have got you covered. So the first thing is this top that I got. It is a uh, burnt orange. I love the way burnt orange looks on black skin. You cannot tell me it looks any better on any other color person. Quote me. Burnt orange is made for black, darker skin. Look at that. I look absolutely delectable. Delectable. I have this top. It's a bit longer. I've tucked it into the skirt, obviously. It's quite loose, nice light fabric. The back is a different fabric to the front, as you can see. So this is a bit more shiny. This is uh just stretchy i guess paired it with this really lovely skirt it's got mustard brown and navy patterns all over it it's a good length it's past my knees my knees are here and the skirt still goes all the way down to my shin so it's appropriate for the workplace and yeah i really like it i'm gonna throw on a blazer that doesn't quite fit the aesthetic but I just want to show you what it looks like anyway. So I got this white blazer from, obviously from Mango, the whole, <laughs> the whole haul is from Mango. But yeah, I got this white blazer in the sale as well. I wouldn't wear it with the skirt just because the colors clash a little bit, but it's so pretty. I love the long line black detail across the front. Let me throw it on. I do love a good blazer. Step back, step back. You don't want me like that. How nice is this blazer? Ignore the skirt. I wouldn't wear it with the skirt. The colors are just a bit too karate chopping, but it's got a nice fit. I think this might be in a large. I tend to get my blazers a size up. Again, big shoulders, big arms, and also factoring in that I'm gonna probably wear it, well, I'm certainly gonna wear it on top of something. So I like to have a bit more breathing room. It's got one clasp at the front, which I would almost never do, because why would I want to go around like this? The blazer I got for 40 pounds, 39.99. Most items in this sale are about that price point. This top I don't imagine was that expensive. I think it was closer to 20 pounds, but this is really cute. What I am missing are shoes. So if any of you guys can recommend good places for me to buy shoes. I used to buy shoes from Dune quite a lot, but some of Dune stuff is expensive and I just figured, well, I might as well go to Bista Village and buy something else that's a, still more expensive, but better quality and a name brand that, 
thinking about it. it makes me happy so yeah i'm looking for work shoes i didn't pick up any work shoes in the cell i picked up two pairs of earrings which i'll show you right now actually earring number one are these spirally earrings you can see i got the 7.99 with earrings obviously you can't return them so i had to be sure that i definitely wanted to keep them and i figured i don't really have a lot of earrings is you would have noticed I wear these earrings all the goddamn time. These are my forever faithful earrings from Swarovski. I got them from my mama. She bought them for me for Christmas and I wear them all the time. Mm, yeah, they're all right, I guess. They're only $7.99, so can't ask for too much, but yeah, I like these earrings. The second pair of earrings that I picked up are these ones. These ones are more drop type of earrings they've got two swirly swirly bits there i'm terrible at describing so apologies i'll try them on see for yourself if you like them if you like them go and buy them they were on sale originally 12.99 and then i bagged them for 5.99 oh cute they're quite dainty yes a bit of me not too but yeah Another top that I got, it is a high neck-ish, semi high neck top. It's got a really nice stretchy fabric and this long line down the middle as well as down the back. This top I picked up in a medium. It is very snug, a bit too snug if you ask me. You can see the edges of my bra. I did contemplate getting it in a large. However, I was like, mm, this is meant to be quite bigger hugging i didn't want to get a large and then have all these extra bits so you can already see the edge of my bra showing and this is a top i had bought to be able to wear to work obviously with a blazer i'm not too sure about that i might just wear it more casually i think it goes well with the skirt in keeping with the neutral kind of brownie earthy vibes i'm going to show you what it looks like in the black because my bra is black and the top is black, it blends in a little bit more. It still kind of comes in a bit more than I would want at the sides. A workaround for that nude one is obviously just to wear a nude bra. I wouldn't feel comfortable getting it in a large because I just feel like it would be a bit too loose. So I think I'll probably keep these tops. They were on sale for $12.99 down from $17.99. I still think it's well worth keeping. I'm gonna try it on with another pair of trousers I've got. got these red trousers just for the sake of having casual trousers really i'm more and more liking the idea of wearing tailored trousers more casually instead of just to work so i think this would be a nice oh yes this would be nice this was a little bit hard to get over the hips and i don't even have hips look at how straight i am it was a little bit tight over here but here they are i think they're a nice fit oh no pockets, Jesus Christ. How can they make trousers with no pockets? Why? Why? This is 2023. Why are you making trousers without pockets? Oh! And the thing is, it's such a nice pair of trousers. Let me stand on the stool. Move a little bit here. Look. It's a nice kind of culotte vibe. It's not all the way down to my ankles. Let me show you. It's like there that long but it's just a nice fabric the fabric is 93 percent viscose and 70 percent polyester i would love to wear this casually but i'm just annoyed at the lack of pockets <sighs> does anybody ever feel so strongly about clothes that don't have pockets <sighs> booty is bootying nothing new there yeah i like this i think i'll keep this despite the lack of pockets. It was 20 pounds, 19.99. I think it's well worth the money. On to the next one. I put that nude top back on again because I think it goes well with this blue pleated skirt with like a chain braided design in a similar nude color. Similar length to the skirt I tried on earlier. It is way past my knees. My knees are down here. The skirt goes nearly all the way to my ankles. It's a good length for work and church and something a bit more formal. Another thing with these pleated skirts that I like is that it's a proper band. 
in the past i have bought these skirts with like an elastic band and sometimes especially if it feeds through the waist bit it twists on itself and it doesn't look nice so i typically opt for skirts that have the same fabric of the band going all the way around instead of an elastic band that can twist in the wash and just kind of look very higgy haga. The next skirt I am showing you is this gorgeous skirt. It is in a navy slash midnight blue color. It's got a slit at the side. I call it a fake wrap skirt because get into this. Yes, there is a wrap detailing, but it don't go nowhere, honey. It does not open anything. It's actually got a proper zip, like a regular skirt. The zip is here. The zip, it also has a clasp inside. And yeah, so the tie thing is just for aesthetics. Really, it's not a wrap skirt whatsoever. And I love this. Reason why I love this is because with me, wrap skirts, I just don't like the fact that if I sit down, it can just split the whole leg. And because you're wrapping it up here, your whole leg can be exposed. If you're looking at someone from the side, they can, there's a potential they can see your coochie. I don't like that aesthetic. I don't typically like wrap skirts, wrap dresses, wrap tops, unless they have like an internal bit which is already stitched in. But if it's just wrapping it across, I usually don't buy them. But I, I like the way they look, I just don't like the way they function. But this skirt has the look of a wrap skirt but not the function of a wrap skirt, so it's a win-win for me. It is 100% polyester, but it feels so buttery soft. It feels, oh, divine. It feels divine. And the slit isn't too high either. I can wear it to work and not feel like I am Jezebel trying to seduce my boss. Booty, booty, booty! You're on my stool. My knee is down here. The slit is up to here. You can't really see that much. And the skirt, again, for reference, my knees here, the skirt goes down to my shin. So again, a decent length for work or a wedding or something formal or church, it is still relatively modest with a little pizzazz, pizzazz, pizzazz. I'm gonna throw on a blazer that does not go with this outfit, but I have nothing else I'm gonna wear it with and I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. I picked up this lilac tweed blazer I bought another one in a green tweed fabric, but I forgot to pick it up from the store. I ordered it to the store and I didn't get it in time for this haul. But let's get into details. It's got four pockets. Meanwhile, those other pair of trousers couldn't even just give me two. It's got lovely, gorgeous buttons all down the front. Silver hardware. And I picked this up for 50 pounds on sale from 70. Oh! Actually, it does go. It doesn't go with this brown top, but it does go with the skirt. Mm. If I was to wear this, like, you know how some people wear their blazers all closed up, like Jackie, oh, as in Jackie Kennedy. Look at me! I'm first lady of the church, hallelujah. I do like this tweed blazer. I don't love it, to be very honest. Looking at it in the mirror, or maybe just because this bit's poking out at the top, I don't love it. I don't love it. Maybe because it's all done up, it's really not me. And God, is it hot. What? Left open. Mm. Do you know what it is? I don't think lilac is my color. That's it. I think when the green one comes, I will absolutely love it and I'll be sold. But this lilac, mm, no lost it. This is the one and only dress that I bought for work. I absolutely love, love, love the color. Let's get into it. It is gorgeous mustard. No, this isn't even mustard. This is more of a caramel brown and a dark chocolate brown. It looks fantastic. It has the illusion of a wrap skirt. It's not wrapped. It's hemmed at the side, but it's got this nice little slit outlet here. The wings are bat wing. I do love a bat wing with a little bit of a collar. Fabulous. Now, you know when you watch fashion shows and the models look fantastic, but actually it is absolutely chaotic in the background. Things are pinned, hemmed, stitched. They are basically sewn into the dress. I kind of feel like this with this dress on. If I show you what the back looks like, again, let me just say it's a two-man job, okay? I have spent at least two to three minutes struggling to put on any button 
and I only managed one and my arms are sore so I was like you know what you guys will get the picture and that's why I'm gonna leave it so if you live alone don't buy this dress okay just forget it you need an extra pair of hands to get this done for the same reason as I mentioned before they have these tiny little loophole things for the buttons to go into I don't know if it is leprechaun fingers that are supposed to operate them but I have quite dainty hands quite dainty fingers and I struggled so let me show you the back yeah you see what i was struggling with there's a button that holds it here and i think another one lower down and then there's two whoop, at the behind the neck i just about managed to do the top one behind the neck um and then the other two are supposed to hold it in place one there one there but you get the picture i think it's really lovely i think i'm going to keep this one on to my stool very pretty decent length and um, it's gorgeous, she's a keeper. I just have to put my husband on button duty when it's time to go to work. But yeah, that is the last of the dresses and workwear items. I think I have about three more items I wanna show you guys. They are more casual, one's a jumpsuit, two more dresses, and I'll wrap up this whole video for you. Here is another dress. This one is a short one for once. It's above my knee, as you can see. I bought this for more casual wears, not for work, just for me going out and about looking cute. The sleeves are long, but they've got a gathered cuff around the wrist on both sides. So it's actually a bit more like that, but I prefer it to have it rolled up and have a bit more loosey-goosey. It has a string that you can tie around the neck to either bring it close. I'm not typically a blue girl. I like the way blue items look on hangers, but when I put them on, I don't find that they usually suit me, especially in light blue. But I really like the way I look in this dress. Oops, sorry, I'm nearly flashed, you guys. I really like the way I look in this dress. I think the blue suits me. I had picked this up months ago when it was full price, and I just didn't like it enough at the time. But now that they've taken 10 pounds off, I'm buying it in the sale. <laughs> Go figure. This is another one of the short dresses that I picked up. There's only two of them. This one and the blue one I just showed you. This is a nice bright fluorescent luminescent orange dress. And it goes wonderfully well with my choco latte skin tone. It is linen and as you know, linen, is prone to creasing. I didn't bother ironing it because of one, I haven't decided if I'm keeping it or not, and two, it will get creased again. But what do you guys think? I think she's cute. NB, I got this in a large. I don't remember if that is because that was all that was available or because I had the foresight to know that I would need a large. But for context, this is in a large. I'm typically a medium. As I said at the start, what? Okay, fluff. <laughs> As I, said, as I said at the start of the video, I am five foot seven. I am usually a 12, sometimes a 10, and I've gone for a large in this dress, and it fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this dress. I love the, um, again, fake wrap dress thing that it's got going on. This is my absolute kind of wrap dress. It's a regular, regular dress with a little bit extra on the side just for the illusion of a wrap dress. Boom! Where do I begin? I had high hopes for this jumpsuit. I'm actually incredibly disappointed it has turned out the way it has. Do I start with the fact that Mango has the tiniest buttonholes known to man? Again, I've only managed to do the top or the bottom and one button. I don't know whether it's top, middle or bottom. I think it's a bottom button at the back. So really, it should be a bit more like this, right? Okay? If I had done all the buttons, it would look like this. Fine. This actually has a very interesting wrap front. So getting it on was a little bit of a mission, but I got there in the end. This, this waist band belt thing thingamabob is super long. Unless they wanted to go around you three times, it's really long. I'm not loving this. I'm not loving this. The slit is down here. Sis, 
The slip is down to here. The belt, how much lower can I push this belt? If I bring it down to my waist area and just have this kind of like loosey goosey spilling over, it looks a lot better actually. Again, no pockets. I don't know, maybe people are running out of fabric. No pockets for the gal them in this jumpsuit. And do you know what? The deal breaker for me with this jumpsuit is how complex it is to put on and take off. I'm gonna show you the diagram in the back, right? So if you put this label on, that shows you that the front is supposed to be crisscross. This crisscross thing, you need to really contort your body. I wish I had filmed me putting it on, but I just don't wanna have my whole naked body on the internet. If I am in a hurry for the toilet, I am dancing around, loop de looey in the bathroom store. I can't be contorting my arms to get out of a jumpsuit. It cannot, I would, I, honestly, accidents will happen. I guarantee you an accidentally on purpose will happen. And I say on purpose because at this point when I'm trying on this jumpsuit, I already know the kind of body contortions I need to do to wear it when I don't need to eat. Imagine me being pressed for the loo, having to twist, take one arm out, do this one, do that one, all the finicky tiny little buttons, with, and then to add insult to injury, there's no pocket. Okay. It's pretty, yes, absolutely is, very pretty, but the logistics, the logistics are a massive deal breaker. Let me stand on my step and show you a bit more. It is very, 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 very long. I mean, very long. Even with heels, I'm still gonna be sweeping the floor with this jumpsuit. So, that brings us to the end of this haul. If you have enjoyed it, if you've enjoyed the commentary, if you've enjoyed the banter, if you've enjoyed the jokes, if you've enjoyed the items, if you've enjoyed anything of this, subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty more coming soon. And until my next video, catch you later. Bye!